please make you so comfortable. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Tell somebody say Merry Christmas. I'm happy to be in your presence. And also, I know the ushers will help me. And also, to teach you one or two things about this season. Just take a look at yourselves. See how God has made you to be held in how you are sound. Some of you have money now. By this time last year, some of you don't have money. You are broke. Some of you don't have, but you have target. Some of you, you are living comfortable. Some of you are enjoying your marriage. Some of you are about to. Some of you are expecting good cars. Some of you are expecting new houses, job opportunities, and businesses. This is opportunity that God has given to somebody here. Somebody say, to God be the glory. But all these things that God has placed in your power, the good ones, some of you have children. You are about to. You have parents. You don't have, but it's okay. It's a great opportunity that God has placed in your power. And you are happy with it. Some of you, you travel today, you travel tomorrow to another country, to interstate, because you have the facilities to travel. This is the glory of God in your life. But do not think that the same time that God has doing all these things in your life, that many people are happy with you. I'll give you the word of God from the Holy Book. But before then, a child of God needs to always prepare his or herself. So somebody say, hear this. Yes. Say, beloved, Beloved. prepare yourself spiritual and carnally. So a child of God needs to prepare his or herself. How can I prepare myself? And why am I preparing myself? As long as this life is consigned, the life is full of challenges. When this word of challenges came into time, it's not about challenges of you eat today, don't eat tomorrow. Challenges of beasts, challenges of the people that hate you for no just cause. Somebody may not know you, he or she may not know who you are, and fall hatred against you. You don't need somebody to know who you are, your identity before hating you or liking you. And there's something I want you to correct in your life. That thought of my hands are clean. That nobody can touch me. You got it wrong. Whether you make trouble, you don't make trouble. Trouble must surely look for you. Whether you're a righteous person or a wicked person, trouble must surely look for you. Either physical or spiritual. Because there's no way you tell me you will never see or see yourself in bad dream, having some challenges in your dreams. Is somebody hearing me here? So what a child of God needs to prepare himself. Your preparation matters a lot because you don't know the next thing that is about to happen to you. You, have, you and I have known that the death of people is not common in our society and our society at large. It's come on. Nobody cares who dies. Nobody wants to know who is dying. So why do you want to be loose today? Some young ladies born as wicked ladies are out to destroy some young men. Many young men 
Born as wicked souls, they are out to destroy young ladies. What have she done against you? You have things in common with her. Maybe she decided to go on her way. You say you must kill her. The same thing to a man. This is what we see in life. And this season, people celebrate joy in Marx this season. At the same time they are celebrating, they are dying like that. They are dying like that. So if you're not careful, somebody can take your life for no just cause. I'm taking you to the Holy Book in the book of Matthew. I'll read for you. We are want to read for you something. You ask question about it. You ask question about it. The Holy Book says here in the book of Matthew chapter 2. Let me just read only verse 3. When Herod heard, when Herod the king heard, had, had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he gathered, when he had gathered all the chief priests, the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. King Herod heard that Jesus was born. Because there was prophecy about Jesus. Now, you ask yourself, does it mean immediately Jesus was born, that he started his mission? The answer is no. Because a baby, still a baby, no matter the calling you have, you cannot start doing the work when you are still a baby. A woman is pregnant, not everybody is happy with her. Sometimes, including your own blood sisters, brothers, aunties, uncles. Sometimes they are not angry with the woman that is pregnant, but they are angry with the child in the womb. What has that child done against them? They are born like that, to hate, to destroy. So when Herod heard that Jesus was born, he began to hunt him. Hunting a child that you don't know his name. Hunting a child that you don't know his mission. As he was hunting the child, he was hunting the parents. The parents, they left everything they have, their businesses, and was running for their dear life. They nearly died in hunger. Then the Lord ministered to them in dream. He said, run for your life. Joseph, take your wife out of this place. And they flee. They left everything they were doing. Now, through the gospel, the word of God guides you to run sometimes. Sometimes, so many travels, you people want to travel. If it is not comfortable with you, why are you forcing yourself in that? Somebody say, I love Jesus. Why are you forcing yourself in that? The home is not yet settled. Why are you forcing yourself? Then people died the death of selfishness because you are dying so that you want to. Compensation. Who are you compensating? And if I did not do that, they will say. I'm encouraging every man here, young men, when you blow in business, make sure you need to understand that you have moved from that level you were to another level. And if you don't take your time when you are growing in business to continue with the old friends, they will bring you back to the square one. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when you are growing business, you join your class. If you don't have class, you know how you follow yourself. When Herod was going around looking for the child, you ask yourself, can that child do anything then? A woman put to bed on the day of dedication, you know, the people never respect 
what called child dedication their mind is the clothes you wear and the the the, the occasion you call at home you, you may not have anything you are coming to that church for intense giving you nobody thinks about that spiritual impartation hey, may, let daddy bless the child so we can go you don't prepare anything a sacrifice to redeem your child against the evil ones sometimes so many baby you put put to bed from the day you put to bed the child has eat more than one million naira under six months but ten thousand can buy you a gift you will use for a sacrifice on the day of the dedication to protect that child and the mother but because you don't want to live a spiritual life can i can life just like in this place as i'm teaching people years ago when we were growing ministry some people think that to live a spiritual life if you pass gota you call phone daddy you are coming you call phone daddy that time i used to answer them do you think that that makes you live a spiritual life you ask yourself one day you call that day and that is in the mortuary what are you going to do you call another daddy i know you have so many daddy that is not how to build your spiritual life you build your spiritual life by hearing the gospel following it up knowing the things to do and the time knowing how to execute your life your plans of good so many children you are carrying today some of your little kids when they were born there was prophecies about them but in the process of time the prophecies couldn't manifest you being a parent you never ask questions this is not what God said about this my child what is going on something there was be there must be spiritual manipulation somewhere that turned the life of the child Tell somebody say are you hearing this this child when the child was growing his life her life is awesome but I don't know what I'm seeing what is going on there must be spiritual manipulation and sometimes the child the children you hope on disappoint you but the ones you did think leave that one turn and become somebody there must be spiritual compensation to that ones you think they are not going to be just like me my mother thought that i'm not the type that will make life he, he she was looking at my elder brothers he was looking at them he called them good names and called me ugly name but there was spiritual manipulation to her hope and there was spiritual compensation to me hello thought somebody say i hear this do you know somebody can touch you touch you shake you and shake trouble into you viewers somebody can shake you wicked souls can shake you they will snatch away your destiny because you're weak somebody can embrace you and snatch away your pregnancy at the same time somebody can touch you and grant you good luck at the same time somebody can embrace you and give you healing and good luck are you getting what i'm saying but if you are weak how can you be weak you don't know who you are you, you so many people you go to churches yeah 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 there are churches without you building yourself you watch what is going on and it will not have any impact in you just like this year from january to this time some of you made money but you cannot give account of that money it's spiritual manipulation you see somebody you have made money than has something to show but you that made bigger one has nothing to show it's something is something is fishing somewhere hallelujah people are you getting what i'm saying 
So you don't just take it. And another thing is this. You are too loose when you take alcoholic. You know you don't control it. Why are you taking it? Stop it. It's not good for you. Whenever you take alcoholic, you don't control it. Why do you continue taking it? You say it's fun. What do you know be fun? Something that is killing you, you call it fun. It is no fun. You are hurting yourself. You are poisoning yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. And as long as your body system is weak, anybody, any spirit can take advantage of you. That's it. That's it. Glory be to God. Now, if you come to Market Square here in Africa, we believe in business, trading. Some rich importers, you come to their warehouse to purchase business, they are happy. But when they find out you have order for goods in outside country, they'll come after you. What does that mean? They are witchcraft. Hello? They, they don't want you to always come into their warehouses. They don't want you to have your own warehouse. Are they not witchcraft? Then you can't be loose. You see them, they will go far near to make sure they will destroy that capital you have as money. Touch somebody say, you are not hearing. You are not touching somebody say, hear this word of God. Ah. That is what we see in life. They don't like you progressing. They don't want it. They, they want you always jumping in their, in their warehouse, calling them salsa. But when they find out that you are about to start on your own, they change. Then how can you defend them? May you rise. How can you defend them? How can you challenge them? How can you tell them that what they know, you know it? In village, in business area, if you come to schools, some students are wicked. They are cacas. Deadly. How can you defend them? You need to be careful. Carefulness. Being careful of what you eat in public. Being careful of night joining and be careful of relating you are going out and coming in with people around you a child of God must, must live in secret being careful of the people that visit you and the people that are going out from you not to allow them to communicate with them let me use this and teach Pastor Casey you escorted me yesterday somewhere yesterday night you can't know what i'm doing you are there with me in the car you are there with me but i was working spiritual work in that company we went to it's a big case i handled for me to open up to you you can't carry it Likewise, you, sometimes you handle case, not everything you let me know. You must be careful, children of God. Exchanging your clothes with beasts, they can use clothes and manipulate you. They can use it and divide, divide you. After you wear that clothes, you start having attack. Attack may not be something is pressing you on the bed. Attack may be typhoid and malaria. Constantly headache. Stomach problem. They will hook you somewhere. You use the money you use, you will use for another thing, taking care of your heart from month to month, month to month, for years. Carefulness. A child of God. Expecting a child. I was harsh with somebody the other day. Don't, don't you, you, I, I follow some good people online. 
I learned that a woman is pregnant. She don't travel anymore. A learned person, you don't travel. You don't do something that is hard. Because you are pregnant. You don't risk your life. To protect the image of the child and your life. But, but, but you people are... You are carrying a baby. You are looking for where to go. A sucking mother is looking for where to go. But those things are something you people need to be very, very careful. Because if you lose life, you never get life, that life again. Don't, don't believe, don't be a selfish Christian. Hey, my daddy in the Lord is there. Hey, as long as my daddy in the Lord is there, you can do all kinds of rubbish. No. He is a messenger of the Lord. And he has to give you the sound message. Don't risk your life. Don't risk the life of your children. Don't give your children any heart to somebody you don't know. Don't give your life to somebody that you don't know. By mistake, you meet somebody, a woman as a man. When you find out that she's not trustworthy, leave her. You can't change her. Somebody that is corrupt is corrupt. There's a man you meet as a woman. Don't force yourself into her, him. You can't change him. Somebody that is corrupt is corrupt. But if you're forcing yourself to change her, to change him, you always stress your time and fight and quarry and cry and fight and cry. Time waited nobody. Use that time for other things. We have already prepared ladies somewhere. Already prepared young men somewhere. Pray to God to meet them. If you meet already prepared, already met, you don't need to stress. You look at me, I look at you. We know what we are saying. Mm. Not every time. Oh my God. No, 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 not every time. Talking, talking. I say I'm your man. You look at me, I say man. I don't have myself. My auntie is controlling me. My sister is controlling me. My uncle is controlling me. Whatever I discuss with you, before I respond to you as my lady, I have to go and take permission from them. She said that I should be calling her every morning. He has been manipulated. You can't change him. Leave such person to go out from your life. You are wasting your time with such. is a deaf and dumb. People, are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen, time waited nobody, everybody. Hear me here. Spiritual manipulation is not only when they plant concussion. It's not only when they take you to, con to, 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 to shrine. Some wicked attitude is stronger than concussion. That can disorganize you, be who you are. Some of you are graduate. Some of you are lecturers. But they can disorganize you. You don't know where you are again. I, I can't leave him. I can't leave her. If I leave him, you die. You die and let another person come. Children of God need to be wise. A child of God need to be smart. A child of God need to think about tomorrow, not yesterday. Remember that yesterday. When we are small, this is how we used to do. You remember you give me bread yesterday. You say, hey, I gave you bread yesterday. So give me today. What does that mean? Nobody talk about yesterday. You think about what? You're not talking. You think about what? You think about what? Tomorrow. It's not working. It's not working. You can be with me in the same church. Sit down for a moment. You can want, you are worship. Sit down for a moment. You are worshiping with me in the same church. Does not mean that I will sell my personality or my integrity to you. You are my church member, and then the business is not working. We're still a church member. Join another person you can do this business with. Let me look for another person I'll do business with. Trying to know all the sense. Don't use church to track my faith or to track my personality. I have class to protect. I don't know what I'm telling somebody here. So don't do that. Don't do that. Don't just do that. Don't use that club member to deceive somebody. Because so many people are too cunning. 
And remember you are my church member. Remember I'm your church. And then, because you are my church member, some people used to call me on phone and say, that is your daughter. I don't know who I was talking to. You know, these stupid people. I don't believe that. That, that I'm coming to see you tomorrow. Maybe it's not office day, but he said, you are my daughter. And you're coming to see me off day. I say, okay. I don't say I'm, it's not office day. You come and see yourself and go. Silence is the best answer for fools. Are you getting? But your problem, you want to get the fat. Why there is no fat? Which kind of fat you want to get? That's your problem. I want to get the fat. I want to get the fat. I want to get the fat. Which kind of fat do you want to get? You don't want to get any fat. You have no fat to get. Things is getting out of hand. Look at my age. What am I talking with you? Delay is too dangerous. Any man that will delay your life, any woman that will delay, avoid him, avoid her. I can't. Listen, when you expose, you grow to the level of being exposed, you know that all things that glittered are not gold. But as long as you are not exposed, when you see this thing, look at how you'll be looking at it. All your countenances, all your vision, and you die under. God is not a man. Prophetically, spiritual life is direction. This is how you're supposed to do it. This has you prevent so many damages. Everything is not pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. You are traveling with a vehicle that has no tire and you are covering it with the blood of Jesus. Is it going to work? Are you stupid? You know your tire has expired and you want to travel with such vehicle, praying, putting it back to sender oil, anointing oil, holy water, you wear its bangle on it, on your, uh, your gear lever. And you believe he's going to walk with you. I know that the God of failure is following me. God of failure is not a selfish God. He's not going to follow you. You know the, the vehicle you are traveling with is not in order. And the mechanic or the engineer has said that you should leave it after we finish. No, you persisted that you're going to travel with it. You will sleep on the road. Are you getting what I'm saying, people of God? Do not put yourself into what? Mess. You don't you are not capable to travel you know some people since i was born i don't believe that traveling of a thing i'm traveling with reasons you don't have anything you do because you want to see you're going to just go to stay with others and I, no 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 you are not prepared you traveled as a young lady on your way coming back you are stranded then you have to sell yourself 10 10 naira to get money that you use and transport back to yourself you tell me you're a child of God. A child of God that has no integrity, what makes you a child of God? A child of God that has no respect for his or herself, what made you a child of God? A child of God that has no class. Class is not the car you die, drive. The, being a, class, a working class lady is not the type of business you are doing. But you have respect for yourself. A child of God. A child of God is not about making noise. A child of God represent God God never borrow when God wanted to create every, 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 the whole earth he was doing it I'm doing it I'm doing it at the end he said come let us he, for them to witness made man in our own image at the image of God man was made a child of God a child of God you must have your own hairstyle I don't cut my hair because I'm seeing anybody cutting his eyes like that. A child of God must have lifestyle. You must be conscious of this. I said the other time in Africa here, by January, school is going to resume. And your children will be patrolling around. You say you're a child of God. No preparation. You, you say from January to December, and during December time, you just finish it. 
you say you're a child of God. You're not a child of God. A child of God with that sense is not a child of God. I remember my elder brother years ago. He's always, he lives in Lagos. And whenever he comes down to East here, you see him doing big boy, empty big boy. When he stayed two, three days, he will finish the morning he came back with. And he will run after my mother. My mother is not a happy matter. We call him my mother names. And my mother will go out and know where he kept the money. That inside central bank. She will bring out the money and give my elder brother. Before he will go, he must, my mother must give him money to go back. When I look at him, then I was about nine years old. When I look at him, I say, you're a liability. And I say to him, to myself, because he gave me gap, I said to myself, I will never be like you. And I maintain that word. You came back today, women everywhere, doing big boy, handsome boy. No man is handsome. As long as there is no penny in your pocket, you are not handsome. What makes a man a handsome man is the money in, her, in his pocket. What made a woman beautiful is makeup. <laughs> yeah. What makes a man a handsome man is your pocket. So if you don't have anything in your pocket, man, you are ugly. And tomorrow when you make something and something is in your pocket, you are handsome. That's what I believe. May God bless you. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll talk to you. Talk to others. Win souls with the word of God. And never you, never you live life that is not your lifestyle. Finally, some people are rich. Some people are poor. The class you find thyself, respect it and do not allow that person up there to intimidate you because he's rich. Don't believe that. The most important thing, believe that if you want to be rich, determine how strong you are. Because if you work hard, you see the results of your work. But if you don't work hard, you can have something to show. No matter any type of business you are doing, some of you are doing online business. You cannot just own your phone and be looking at your phone or your, your laptop for your laptop to produce money. You work it hard. You crack brain. You work hard. From working hard, you stay with us sleeping. You Take yourself from any nonsense, nonsense cause because you are, on, you are working. So if you don't work, you will never eat. Then if you work hard and work at something, you don't know how to manage the uh, opportunity, you will let her go back to square one. Somebody say, God forbid. May you rise. The Lord will guide you with his word. He will direct you with his word. He will give you comfort and bring changes into your life. I stand against Lucifer as friends. Lucifer as beloved one coming around you to snatch your destiny to snatch your life, to snatch your opportunity, may all these evil Lucifers get away out of your life. Amen. May they get away out of your family. Amen. I pray for hidden enemies. I'm praying against hidden enemies in your life. Pretending to be friends. Pretending to be beloved ones. But they are coming to destroy your children. They are coming to destroy your pregnancy. They are coming to destroy your marriage. They are coming to destroy your whatever you stand for. May heaven and this dry season dry them up.
may this dry season dry them up I cover your destiny with the blood of Jesus I cover your children with the blood of Jesus I cover your life with the blood of Jesus I cover whatever you stand for with the blood of Jesus may God protect you may he guide you in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus celebrate Jesus Please make yourself comfortable.